Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today as we have a fabulous font project for you. Now, if you like fonts, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications that we are always notified of our latest and greatest videos. But today, guys, we are gonna talk about organizing and managing your fonts with a font management software. All right, guys, so here we are. I am, of course, on the Creative Fabrica website because I wanna start off by downloading this fantastic font bundle. And not only is it the name, but it has some pretty fantastic fonts in there too. And to be a bundle, it is pretty comprehensive. I mean, like it has some really awesome fonts to choose from, whether it is, you know, a font with glyphs, whether it is, um, there was a monogram font up here, a nice uh, print font. I mean, we're going to call it, I consider that a farmhouse font, but lots of really cool things. So let's go ahead and download that to get started. And of course, you can download it also from the website. And then we're going to go ahead and open it up as soon as it is finished downloading. That's what that looks like. Let's go to our downloads. And I'm going to right click and choose extract all. And what that's going to do is it's going to extract all of those files into my downloads folder. There we go. There are all of those pretty, pretty fonts. And then what we'll do is we can open them. I use the OTF format, right click and choose install for all users. Now, another thing that you can do if you don't necessarily want to go one by one is you can grab those OTF. Well, let, let me show you. I can come here to the search option and I can search for OTF and it's going to pull in all of the OTF formatted fonts. And this is just assuming that all of them come with at least one OTF format. So what I'm gonna do is I can just click anywhere. I'm gonna use Control A to select them all, right click and choose install for all users. Okay, and that's gonna go through. A couple of these I do already have um, because, <laughs> because they're just so awesome. Um, but it's just gonna go through and it's gonna install all of those fonts in one fell swoop, okay? So it's important to go ahead and do that first, but what I will actually wanna to talk to you today is a really cool tool available right here on the Creative Fabrica website, okay? It is a web-based tool, so it's really awesome that there's not anything that you have to download onto your computer. We're gonna to go to tools and we're gonna to go to font cloud. Now I'm not gonna to lie to you guys, I actually did not know this was here, for a really long time, and that's my fault because I am guilty about not taking advantage of all the amazing resources available, and this is a resource available to you as a Creative Fabrica customer, all right, love it a lot, but basically you're just going to open up your font cloud and you can drag and drop your fonts here. So go ahead and open up that File Explorer window again. I just use my Alt tab, there we go, and those are already still highlighted, so I can drag and drop. I mean, if I am already downloading them and installing to them to the computer, it's just one extra step to come here. And let me tell you some things that I love about this. First of all, I can preview all my fonts in one place, okay? I really love that a lot. So if I wanna type something in, I'm guilty about using my name, but I can type it in and get a preview of all the fonts that I've uploaded. And you can see they are still uploading. So it'll just take a minute, but I can get a quick preview of anything I want to type in those respective fonts. Okay. Now, once I find a font that I like, one of my trusty favorites, the Love Twist font, I can come down here and I can select one of my glyphs. Let's see. Hold. Okay. We'll just grab this one. When I click on it, you see how it says character character copied to clipboard. So I can go to Silhouette Studio, go ahead and open a new text box. I know you're saying, Becky, that's not the right one, but watch whenever I fill it in with black, line to transparent, and I come over here. Oh, there it is. Recently used Love Twist. There's my glyph. So super duper easy. 
I can add notes in here. So if I want to make note of maybe certain projects that I use this for or anything like that, I can do that. And all of my fonts are over here listed to the right hand side. I can select any of those at any given time. I can search by name if I want to. And this is also an awesome way to back up my fonts because a lot of times I'm guilty of like switching computers or different things like that. And I can, even without coming in here and choosing download, I can select them here and choose download. And of course I can delete them if I'm done using them. Okay. So super duper great things that you can do. Um, I really love the preview. That's probably my favorite one is being able to preview everything. The glyphs is a very close second because this is way better than using, in my opinion, than using the font book or character map. I know personally the character map for PC is super hard to see and select your glyphs. So I love that a whole, whole lot, but just having a backup is really great too, because as long as I'm catching this in the beginning of my font journey, and I think that's really important to talk about is, you know, not that you can't do this later on like I am now. If you do this when you're first beginning, then this will, number one, become second nature. But number two, you're not going back and trying to find all of these fonts that you've been using for years and years and years. You know what I mean? But having them all in one place where I can back them up and preview. And I mean, let's face it, we're already on the Creative Fabric or website all the time anyway. So it's literally right there. As soon as I download a new bundle, install them. And then you saw how easy it was to just drag and drop them all at one time. So just a super easy font management software, um, you know, kind of a one-stop shop for a lot of the things that you need with fonts. And, you know, it's just great for beginners. I, I mean, I think it's great for all levels, but great to go ahead and let all of my beginners know. You guys know I have a special soft spot for beginners, and this is just a really great tool for you to go ahead and implement, get used to, and use to the full advantage. I mean, I have lost more fonts than I have downloaded by switching computers or computer crashes or different things like that. So definitely start it, get it started, and you won't be sorry. So with that little tip, that little nugget of goodness, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. So guys, how did you feel about learning how to organize and manage your fonts in a font management software? Now, obviously there are a lot of great software out there, so I'm not going to tell you that there's one better than the other, but definitely make sure you check out the options that we talked about today and you know, give it a try. If you are a font collector like myself and get a ton of really great fonts from Creative Fabrica, it is so easy to just overload yourself and then you forget all your favorite fonts and you know, it's just all downhill from there. But if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love to help you any way I can. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crappy friend. That way we can keep growing the channel and keep bringing you these really awesome videos. But for today, guys, I am going to wrap it up. I appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you again next time.